Inhale your hands to heart center. Sharing the pranava three times. Take a breath in. This is the traditional guru mantra. If you know it, join me. If not, just listen. I can write down the words for you if you're interested. Take a breath in. Guru Brahman, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Shasha, Parabrahman, Tasmai Shri, Guru Dev Namaha Om Shanti 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 And exhale, release. Let's come into child's pose. Child's pose is a great position to begin warming up the ankles. You see, we have rather an extreme extension of the ankle in child pose. It's also wonderful for opening up the shoulder girdle, relaxing the neck, lengthening the spine. Of course, the hips and knees are in play. Now, remember your props. If this is not comfortable, you can put a, a block underneath your butt. You can put little washcloths underneath your ankles in between your knees. There's many different ways to make this enjoyable. You can also put a block underneath your forehead. If our shoulders are bothering us today, we need to warm them up. Go ahead and bring your hands next to your feet, palms up in this position. Feel the difference in breath when we're laying down over our thighs. Feel the difference between that and when we were sitting. Just observe. Let's hold here for a nice slow count of eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Coming into Vajrasana, lift the head, lengthen the back, use your hands for support. Inhale, let's bring the torso up, resting the, thigh, resting the hands lightly on the thighs. Shrug the shoulders up and back. Now we have an even deeper bend in our knees and ankles here. Nice long spine. Soften the breath. Holding here for four. Three. Two. And one. Let's release and come into Dandasana. Now, as we're going through the movements today, please, don't torture yourself. If you're feeling a lot of discomfort, use a prop or lessen the, the, the depth with which you're holding the pose or get out of the pose altogether. This is not supposed to be torture, okay? Okay, remember in Dandasana, we sit up nice and straight. 
fingers are pointing forward, hands by the hips, roll the shoulders up and back. You can put some weight on your hands. You can even lean back a little bit if you would like, if you're feeling some tension in the back of the thighs or the hip. Most important is always shine the chest. All right. Inhale, arms up in front of you. Bring the shoulders back. How do I know that my arms are shoulder width apart? I like to spread my fingers and touch my thumbs together, shrug the shoulders back, and then just release the contact with the, the thumb just a little bit. From here, working the wrists and the ankles at the same time. As I inhale, point the toes, point the fingers down. That's inhale. Exhale, reverse and flex. Ready? Let's begin. Inhale. And exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Lightly make a fist with your wrist, thumb on the outside, point the toes. Rotations to the right, ankles and wrists. Let's begin. Inhale to the right and exhale to the left. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, opposite side, to the left. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Bring your ankles into neutral flexion. Open up the hands. Here we're simply going to open and close the hands. All right, so begin. Open and close. Soft breath. Shoulders are soft. Elbows are soft. Relax the thighs. They're not holding you up. I don't care if your knees come up a little bit in this position. Let's try and find how to use the core strength here. Keep shining the heart. Moving those hands, moving the fingers, opening and closing. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Arms are extended out, palms down. Let's open the palms up. This is a combined movement. As I inhale, I bring my hands towards the shoulder. As I exhale, I extend. But first, let's come into a little half boat. So lean back. Knees come up, lift them off the floor, knees are bent. Now, as my right, el right elbow bends, right hand to shoulder, I extend the left leg. And then I do the opposite, right leg is extended. So it looks like this, all right? Let's start with the right hand, left leg first, ready? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, shine the heart. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
four, three, two, one. And release, gentle forward fold. Let's hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the head, lengthen the back, place the hands now on the mat. Use it as support as you inhale, rise up. And we're back into dasana. Shoulders, movements now. Let's bring our hands into cactus position. <clears throat> Inhale, I bring my arms up, and exhale, I bring them behind me, all right? So you need them nice and straight into dasana. Remember, don't engage the thighs. Find the stability here, really sort of from the waist down through the seat bones. All right, arms are in position. Let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, release down. Three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale. And exhale. Do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bring our feet now into butterfly pose, but make sure you can still stand, sit up straight. So in this position, for some of you, I know your uh, heels are really, really close to your body and you can still maintain that beautiful erect posture. For others like me, my feet are quite in front, in front of me, which is fine. Let's bring our hands back into that cactus position. The movement here, as I inhale, elbows come in, exhale, elbows come out. Opposite is happening with my legs. I'm going to open and close like a butterfly. But when my elbows are in front, my feet are open or my knees are open. So let's step, start like that. Elbows in front, sit up straight, knees are open. Take a breath in. Exhale, open up elbows. Close knees. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Maintain that erect posture. Inhale. Exhale. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Release the knees to the sides. Go ahead. Hang on to your ankles. And let's see if we can bring those heels a little closer. Even if you're hanging on to your toes, shins, or ankles, let's think about bringing the shoulders back. Nice. Long spine. Let's hold here in stillness. Soften through the chest, soften through the belly. Let your breath guide you to relaxing those knees down, opening through the hips. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. From here, forward fold. Some of you I know can stay right where you are and do a forward fold. 
Uh, as you see, this is as far as I can get. I can't go any further. So I need to bring my heels a little bit away from my butt, find that long spine, and then forward fold. Again, tuck the chin. Go ahead and roll the shoulders. Let's hold here for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your legs exactly where they are. Lift the head. This time as we lengthen the back, go ahead and extend the arms in front of you so that your head is right in between your arms. From the hips and waist, inhale. Let's rise up. And stay here. Nice and straight. Straight back, shine the heart. Holding here. Eight. Seven. Remember, you can always bring your arms down into cactus position or even resting on top of your head. Thing is, what we want to do is find out how do I grow long and still center through my seat bones with hips and knees relaxed. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Take a breath in. Exhale, let's release the hands down to the sides. Extend the legs. We're back into Dasana. Very similar to what we've done in the other classes where we raise our arms up overhead and our neck is in different positions. Let's do that. Open up the palms. Inhale, arms up, pass through neutral, lift chin to look at hands. Exhale, release the hands, chin passes through neutral, and now touches the chest. Again, inhale up, passing through neutral, lifting chin to look at hands. Exhale, release, pass through neutral, chin to chest. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, looking to the right this time. Inhale first, pass through neutral. Keep inhaling, look to the right. Exhale, reverse. Coming to neutral, chin to chest. Left side, inhale up. Looking left. Exhale, reverse. Pass through neutral, chin to chest. Right side, inhale up. Exhale. Relax the thighs. Left side, inhale. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. Right side, inhale. Exhale. Last one, left side, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, both arms up, look at your hands. Forward fold, exhale, keep looking at your hands, come forward and hold. Holding here for eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, 
Three, two, and one. Coming up, lift the head, lengthen the back, place the hands on the ground to support you. Inhale, rise up, shine the heart as you come up. Exhale, release. Let's bring both legs behind us, coming into child's pose with the knees wide. So you're crossing the big toes, knees are wide, and forehead or nose are on the mat. Holding here. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Sitting on our heels, lift the head, lengthen the back, use your hands for support. Inhale, rise up. Gently palm down, rest your hands on your thighs. Shrug the shoulders back. Now this Next movement, we're using a lot of the big muscles to simply stand up on our knees and sit down. Now, for some of you, it may be more comfortable. I know it is for me to have my knees together. The focus here is when I rise up, and look how I'm bringing my hip points to come right over my knees, and then when I sit down again, I do my best not to let my torso come forward. So I'm not letting the weight of my torso forward and then kneel up. I'm trying to keep a nice erect spine the whole time. Now this may be challenging on your knees, so be aware of where you are in your practice. All right? Gently just rest your palms on your thighs, shrug your shoulders back, really think about shining the heart. Let's begin, inhale, rise up. Take a look or just to feel, are my hips over my knees or am I a little too forward or too back? Take a breath in, exhale, sit. Inhale up, exhale, sit. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, sit. Okay, here's a little trick. We don't want our feet to be passive. For some of us, we tend to have our ankles roll out. For some, they roll in. When your ankles are not underneath your, uh, let's say in line with your knee, your shin, and your feet, what is happening? you're putting more pressure either on the inside or the outside of the knee. And you may feel this as you're going up and down. But if you put a slight pressure on pushing the top of your foot down into the mat and maintaining that awareness of lifting the arch, where there's a little bit of awareness on the big toe and the outer heel, the big toe and the little toe, try and keep that balanced, you will balance the tension over your knee. All right, so with that awareness, let's do it four more times. Ready? Find that awareness in your feet. Let's begin. Inhale up. Exhale, sit. Inhale up. Exhale, sit. Now you can even do this with a prop underneath your butt so that you're not going down as far, which is really cool. Stack a couple books or blocks underneath between your legs. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Let's come into tabletop. You can be on your wrists or your elbows like me. Cat and cow. Inhale, looking up. And as I look up, let's change the position of our ankles. So now I'm flexing. And to the best of my ability, my toes are on, down on the mat. As I exhale, I'm arching through the back and pushing the tops of my feet into the mat. 
Continue, inhale up, flexing ankles. Exhale, find the contact with the foot and the mat. Continue, inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Come to neutral tabletop. Curl the toes under, take a breath in. Exhale to downward facing dog. Keep pushing through the shoulders. I'm not really worried about your hamstrings right now. This is finding strength and awareness and mobility in the shoulder right now. So push through the shoulder, open up that uh, armpit. Head is in neutral. Hold for four. Three, two, one. Coming into tabletop, take a breath in. Exhale, feel how you're bending through the toes, bringing the knees down very carefully. Shoulders now are over, elbows. You're back into tabletop. Thread the needle right side. Inhale, bring the right arm up. As you exhale, thread the needle. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, let's come back to neutral tabletop. Left side, thread the needle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread. Hold. Four, three, Two, one, inhale, let's come back to neutral tabletop. Coming into Vajrasana, take a breath in. As you exhale, simply bring your butt towards your heels and sit in Vajrasana. Take two breaths here to center yourself and then we're going to find your props for pigeon, all right? So I'm just, don't think ahead, just kind of stay here, center yourself. And I'll go ahead and reach for your prop. So why do we need a prop in pigeon pose? If our knees, ankles, or hips are not uh, fully mobile and flexible, sometimes we need to put a cushion or a block underneath the hip of our, of our bent knee. So I'll demonstrate on the left side. I start in tabletop. Then I bend the left knee forward in between my hands and extend the right leg back. I'm doing my best to keep my hip points pointed down. Now, as you can see, there's air between this left buttocks and the mat. So what do I do? I just put this little cushion here. And now I can rest this buttocks there and still have both hip points pointing down. All right? So let's all come into the left sided pigeon. Left knee is bent. Right leg is extended behind you. Now sometimes what happens, it's actually, it's our ankle. Like for me, uh, my ankle stops me from doing this. So I need to put a little rolled up cloth underneath my, um, my ankle sometimes. All right. Take your time, just come into position and feel where you need to put that cushion so that you can comfortably lift your hands off the mat and feel that you are stable with your hips pointing down to the best of your ability. Once you know you're in position, go ahead and bring your hands to the mat. Ideally, fingers are in line with the knee, roll the shoulders back, shine the heart, let go of tension in the front of your abs, and in your hip flexors. If this is not possible, for me it's not, you can bring your hands in front a little bit, still roll the shoulders back, and in this position I can relax much more my hips and hip flexors. You can also put a block here and hang on to that. Let's hold here. 
Another variation is just to come down onto your forearms. Whatever you can do to find release of tension in your hips, okay? Holding here. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Remember in yoga, the more you relax, the more progress you make. If we are trying to hold this pose, but we're using tension in any part of our body, we're actually going backwards. We're not progressing. So find the prop, find the breath that helps you. Two. And one. Let's come all the way down onto our forearms, stretch the shoulders, stretch the hands in front of you. If you can, rest the forehead on the mat in front of your knee. Really think about having squared hips. Again, if this is not comfortable, come up a little bit. Use a block underneath your hands or your forehead. Let's hold eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see if we can come up to our elbows now. Lift the head, lengthen the back, bring the elbows closer in line with the knee. Lift the head. Bring those shoulders behind you so there's more distance between your ear and your shoulder. I'm resting on my forearms. Palms are flat down on the mat. I'm looking straight down at the mat. Let's see if we can maintain that nice relaxed posture as we inhale and lift up onto our hands. Whether your hands are a little bit in front of you, on your fingertips, or in line with your knee. The challenge here is to relax through the front abs front chest. Let's do some little push-ups here. So our hands are in front of us. As you exhale, bend the elbows out to the outside, bring the head down to the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last one. Down. Inhale up. Beautiful. Coming out of the pose, simply take that extended leg behind you, that right knee, bend it and bring it forward, and let's just sit right into Vajrasana once more. Give a little rest to that left buttocks. Switch your prop to the other side. Come into neutral tabletop. Right knee now comes forward in between our hands as we extend the left leg. Now ideally in pigeon pose, this right foot would be out 90 degree angles with my right knee, and then my hips would be squared down. I know some of you um, can get into this full position, uh, so go ahead and do so. If you cannot, like I cannot because of my hips don't open that much, I close this angle, and actually my heel is pretty much touching my groin. That's how tight my hips are. But that's okay, because then I just put my little cushion underneath my right buttocks, and yay, here I am, squared down, hands, a little bit in front of my knees, and I'm really thinking about releasing tension through that left hip flexor and really through the front of my body. There's some deeper muscles involved here, psoas, main, minor, major, things like that. So if you're really interested in anatomy, 
you can Google this stuff. But if we just have awareness that we want to shine the heart, drop the shoulders, soften the abs so that we can relax and allow the hips to open. Let's hold here. Find a position with your arms or on your forearms, whatever it takes. Slow count here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's exhale, come down to our forearms, and then extend our shoulders even further down so that we can rest our forehead on the mat, arms extended in front of us. Square off those hips, and let's hold. There are some nice strength moves that we can do in this position, but until we have the flexibility to comfortably hold it, we really can't do them. So that's why we're working on the flexibility right now. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Coming back to our forearms so that our elbows are in line with the knees. Lift the head, lengthen the back, slide those arms back. Now I have a nice straight back, squared off hips. My head is in line with my spine. Shoulders are sinking behind me. I'm gazing right down at the mat. From here, let's lift up onto our hands or fingertips, depending on where you are. A few push-ups here. Take a breath in and exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Coming out of the pose, bend that left knee, bring it in front, and then just find your Vajrasana once more, sitting on both heels. Nice long spine. Roll the shoulders up and back once more. Hands resting lightly on our thighs. Eyes are closed and breathe. If you're comfortable in this position, your knees and ankles, hips are okay, we're going to do a spinal twist from this position. If you're not feeling comfortable, please come into Dandasana or just um, a cross-legged position, okay? Arms are extended out to the sides, palms up, inhale, arms up. As you exhale, come into cactus arms, palms facing forward. This is a spinal twist to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Do your best to keep your left and right arms in the same plane. Really lengthen through the spine. Try not to hunch around. Feel that the spinal twist is coming from the abs and the belly button. If you're feeling tension in your shoulders, it's because you're trying to get the twist in the shoulder joint. That's not moving. That's staying the same. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
four, three, two, and one. Coming back, take a breath in. Exhale, come back to center. If you're feeling tension in the back and the neck, remember bring focus to the shoulder blades and gently bring them down towards one another. Alrighty? Let's go to the left. Take a breath in. Exhale, left. We're grounded through the hips. Shoulders are isolated. We're just finding the twist more or less in the belly button and the uh, waist. Eight. Keep growing tall. You don't want to dump your weight into your pelvis. You want to feel nice and light from your spine up through the crown of your head. Six. Five. Four. Three, keep the belly soft. Two, one. Let's come out, take a breath in. Exhale, release, back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Let's come into a position that you can hold for about five minutes, a seated position, as we do alternate nostril breaths. So something to think about, if you like to sit in Padmasana or with your legs crossed, we get into a habit of either having the right leg in front or the left leg in front. So every time we do come to a seated position, if you can think to yourself to keep switching it, one day the left will be in front, the next day the right will be in front, so that you balance and find in harmony uh, both legs. All right, alternate nostril breath, two minutes. You know the drill. Go ahead and start. Start with the left and with the left. I'll do the timing. There's no rush, and on the left exhale, gently bring your hands down, eyes remain closed, breathe through both nostrils with awareness of the air passing through as it enters and exits through the nostrils. You can deepen your awareness 
Feel the air as it passes over the upper lip. Let's stay here for another three minutes, deepening our awareness of our breath, doing our best to stay nice and quiet. And let's gently come out. 
Do I only have one person here? Who is that? Okay, so we come into a, a restorative position. Let's bring um, our block or our cushion underneath um, our butt. So we have a nice supported shoulder stand, and let's just enjoy that for three minutes. This nice restorative and relaxation part of the class is really when all the magic starts to happen in terms of the energy that we've activated and stimulated. So let's enjoy this. Again, just deepen your awareness of your breath. Doing our best to gently sweep away any distractions, any mental thoughts. And safely, gently coming out, bend the knees, plant the feet, bring your forearms down to the mat, lift the hips, take the prop away, and a nice two minutes of asana.
Then let's gently come out of our savasana, taking note of our breath, and begin movement in the small joints and muscle groups, toes and fingers, wrists and ankles, and gently moving up. Knees and hips, elbows, shoulders, spine. And then on our next exhale, let's roll over to our sides. And use it in our hands. Exhale, push up to a nice seated position. Inhale, hands to heart center, sharing the pranava one time. Take a breath in. bowing down to the teacher within and inhale come back up thank you namaste